Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's open this door and see all the people in the steeple. Oh wait, one time. let's forget it. So there's a little healing block here. I guess I probably should use it because something something is coming up soon. This winding stair leads up to the belfry. Talk about a doozy of a climb. I mean, it's almost like the staircase is saying, Go away, I totally hate you. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe it is. So, but we must. We must get to the top. We must see what awaits us. Bloop. Hmm. This looks pretty comfy. Hey, hang on there, Slick. What the? It's the critter from the stained glass. What are you doing interrupting my me time? This is the monster the mayor was talking about? You've got to be kidding me. Who are you calling a monster? What's your problem? Why do you need to pick a fight? I'm busy thinking up new pranks and stuff. It's not easy either. Now get lost. Of course, you guys won't. No way you ninnies go away quietly. Am I right? Well, all right then, Slick. Fine. Yes, I turned the villagers into pigs. Big deal. Big deal? You big jerk. Why would you do something like that? Well... Hmm? You know, they're all so depressed and boring and dim-witted all the time. So instead of wallowing in gloom, I figure they might as well wallow in mud. Ha! Now they're pigs. Get it? Isn't that so perfect? It's like irony or something. So, what? You got a problem with that? I guess you do. Still, let's play, Slick. Bring it on! And this is the boss of World... Well, Chapter 4. <laughs> I'm gonna immediately do a tattle on what? Question mark. It usually says the name of something interesting. Wow, how totally bizarre. This thing isn't listed in here. There's a monster in here that looks like this thing, but it doesn't list the name. Max HP is 40, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It's apparently really good at transforming itself and other things. Maybe you'd use that plower to turn the villagers into pigs. That thing is a real jerk. So, we got ourselves a mysterious entity here. And let's just see what it has in store for us here. Oh. <laughs> I guess I'll get down and dirty if you're gonna play like that, Slick. Yeah, that's a pretty easy attack to do, um, easy attack to block. Whew. All right, it's going down. But first, I gotta show all of its attacks. So I'm gonna just gonna keep chipping away at uh, its HP, I suppose. Uh, if it just continued on like this, it would be a pretty easy battle. In fact, it is actually a pretty easy battle overall. <laughs> Even once it starts doing other stuff. Alright, just keep head bonking that sucker, oh yeah! Knocking its HP down without any trouble whatsoever. It only seems to be attacking Goombella, what's up with that? <laughs> well, I mean for the most part. Hmm, time to regroup here. So you think you're a couple of heavies, huh? Well, and my dear friends, if you thought changing folks into pigs was impressive, then you're gonna love this! I've got something very special for you here. Uh, uh, what the? How do you like them apples? Now that's magic, people. Now you're fighting yourself. Ha! I'm a dang genius. And it quite literally attacks just like Mario does and with the hammers and the jumps. and <laughs> It's a, well, I guess you could say a doppelganger of sorts. Oh, fog. Why fog? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I don't like fog. Yeah. Poopers. I was a little bit late on my timing. I'm going to switch over. Seems to be only attacking the one I have in front. Dang it! <laughs> Just going to keep chipping away at its HP and see if it does anything else special up, oh, Mist. <laughs> the fog works both ways. How do you like that? <laughs> Woo! Alright, this battle is over! Well, that was easy. <laughs> Hold on. What? What? Uh, you beat me? 
And it keels over like Mario does during a game over. <laughs> Woo! Alright. The villagers should be turned back to normal now. Woo! And we got the star! Woo! Wonder who that, that critter was anyway. But the chapter is over, so maybe we'll find out later. Mario defeated the scourge of the creepy steeple and found the fourth crystal star. The people of Twilight Town have surely recovered from their awful curse by now. At this rate, Mario's quest to collect all seven crystal stars will be done in no time. With his back to creepy steeple, Mario sets out towards his bright future. Nah, yeah, yeah, sure, why not? La 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 Hmm. Oh, are you kidding me? What a total pushover. Well, we got the crystal star, so let's get out of here. Yeah. Alright. Hmm, wait a second. What the? What? Um, I was there. I was there. I thought I won. What? So what is this? I'm Shadow Mario. Okay, this chapter isn't over yet. I was faking it. <laughs> Alright, so let's chase after them because something went horribly, horribly wrong in that battle. Oh dear, how's my stats? They're okay. I don't need to use a ye old block. Alright. No partners are with me. It's just me, myself, and I- Oh shoot! I landed on a boo! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. So yeah, uh, now at this point you've got to battle stuff. I really don't feel like dealing with that fog, in all honesty. <laughs> but yeah, now you got to deal deal with stuff without your partner, at least for a little while. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get those back. Gonna get those back up. Oh, yep. Oh, there we go. <laughs> all right, let's head on back over to the village. <laughs> yes, this time we'll take that Mario and get his map. Look who it is. With this super bob I'm here. There's no way he could fail. No, not likely. Ooh! Vivian, hand me that glorious super bob Huh? Vivian, don't you dare. Does that huh mean what I think it does? I, I never had it. You were just holding it two seconds ago. Oh, oh, another one of these situations. You said it was too important to trust me with. Oh, you terrible liar. Stop making up stories to cover for yourself. If I don't have it, then obviously you must have it. And obviously you lost it. Or are you trying to imply that I lost it, you little lollygagging worm? I, no, of course not, Bolum. No, we can't do much without it now, can we? Oh, you are such an idiot. Very well. I'm sure you must have dropped it around here somewhere. So why don't you look for it while Marilyn and I go take a well-earned siesta. And if you don't find it, well, you know what will happen, don't you? Uh, I get punished. Oh, poor Vivian. That's right, you little twit. So get cracking. Come, Marilyn. Let's leave this useless fool to her chore. <laughs> Oh, poor Vivian. Alright, so here we are. Partnerless, and we've got to make it back over... Actually, I probably should save just in case. Because there's an enemy that could annihilate me in this forest. Uh, I, I hope I actually don't encounter it until I get uh, my partner back and whatnot. Not gonna happen, bub. No, you will, will not. That one leads to the background, so I'm gonna skip that. And yeah, I'm not cutting forward because it's just a little bit more interesting going back when you don't have a partner through this forest than it is ooh, with with a partner. Oop! Oop! Dang it! <laughs> it had its back turned. They must have heard me. Uh, those amazing daisies are just. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna run. <laughs> I mean, the uh, crazy daisies, excuse me, what am I... Uh, Maisie daisies are the ones that you want to um, 
look out for because they have massive attack power. They are a rare kind of crazy daisy basically and they're golden. So yeah, if you see one of those suckers, I recommend you run from the battle. <laughs> Trust me on this. If they decide to attack, you probably won't make the turn because you'll be attacked by other stuff as well as the fact that they can put you to sleep. Anyway, that wasn't too difficult to get back out of there. Oh, I wish I had Yoster. I could be riding on my faithful steed so quickly past enemies. Ah, ah there's enough room to dodge everything and everything here anyway, so it's not that big of a deal, I suppose. I, oh, by the way, you'll notice that those blocks regenerate, even though there's nothing in them now. They just do that for the sake of doing that. Like, see? Nothing in there. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. Ah! Oh! Yeah, you're Mario, right? What a great name! And I really dig this body, too. Man, can I jump now? And hey, you're so popular around here. I get mobbed. I just love being you. Yeah, it's so cool. I don't think I ever want to stop. So, you figured it out by now, right, Slick? Your body and name belong to me now. See, I've got the power to change my shape into anyone I want. It comes in handy. But to really be something, I need to take their name and body too. Which means you turn into a shadow and can't use your name. Tough break, Slick. That's not enough either. I am to erase you for good. I guess it'd be unsporting to ruin you without a challenge. So I'll give you one chance. If you guess my real name, then I'll give you back your name and body. What do you say, Slick? This'll be fun, right? Now guess. What's my name? Hit me with your best shots. Insert song reference here. Now you'll notice that there is a missing letter of the alphabet here. That's the letter that you need to guess his name. So, I mean, that, that's a letter that's in his name, so it's absolutely impossible to guess his name at this moment in time. So, just put whatever you feel like, I guess. I'll just use a, a Pokemon name here. <laughs> There we go, is your name Haunter? Is it? Is it? Wrong of one, though, little nobody. Who would name their kid that? Prepare for doom, slick. <laughs> and don't even think about running from battle here. No running! Hint, hint, you're supposed to run. <laughs> because if you try and attack it, you do zero damage to it. You're pretty much helpless to him. So, yeah. Get out! Go! Oh, 100%. Aw, that's no fun. Whew, made it back to town in one piece. Kind of. <laughs> now that Mario took care of that curse monster, I don't have to guard the gate. But here I am, doing it anyway. Yeah, just to keep those the weirdos out, you know? Yeah, you look kind of weird. If I had to classify you, you'd be a bad guy. No! 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 No. The curse has been lifted since Mario beat that bad ghost. Ah, that perfect red cap. Those scuffed blue overalls. He's the absolute best. Why don't you do something about your appearance and... Spiff up like Mario, huh? <laughs> I don't even have color. Well, I, I'm purplish. I don't, but I don't have much definition. How, how am I supposed to do that? I've been thinking lately. I don't really want to be a pig, but being a crow could be okay. Because I could fly. No one's ever heard of a flying pig. <laughs> By the way, the pigs are kind of really, really out of place in this area, because they're like 3D in a world full of 2D guys everywhere, you know, flat paper guys everywhere. I mean, I suppose you can make 3D uh, paper craft things, so it's not that out of place, but I mean, in comparison to everything else around here. Yeah, some monopolists. It's not that easy on the eyes, but I read by moonlight. So what kind of books do you like anyway? Mm -mm -mm. Strategy guides! Shouldn't you spend your time reading a little something more worthwhile? Oh, come on! We're in a video game! <laughs> uh, what else do you have to say if I say fantasy? Well, aww, you say the same thing no matter what. Aww, aww, and aww. Caw, 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 caw. Still won't chat with me, will you? <sighs> well, anyway, let's go into the shop now since the curse was broke and see how she's doing with her husband and... Oh! Huh? I do not understand this madness. No, no, I do not get it. I remember coming here by that pipe, but it's all getting fuzzy after that, and now I do not know why I'm here. Now that this is a problem, the little filly is just fretching, you know? 
I collect the goods and she sells them. Simple. A good shop like this, a good shop like a good marriage is dependent on teamwork, my friend. So show your support and buy something. Uh, so as you can tell, they seem to be at a little disagreement here. Well, if you don't get this, I think. Oh, this is awkward. I guess that pig wasn't my husband after all. Yep, it was the pervy French guy. <laughs> you know, pervy French disco guy. This guy is younger and cuter than my husband, actually. <laughs> what a strapping fellow. Perhaps I traded him for a new husband. Uh oh! Oh, I'm only fooling. <laughs> Greetings, welcome to the Twilight Shop. And yeah, despite you being in your current form, um, oops. All right. Uh, there, there. I was gonna say, despite you being in your current form, you can still use the storage as if you are, uh, you know, you're just as is. I'm gonna store some of this stuff, like the ultra good stuff here. Um, and I'll store one of these for later. That'll be handy for the the pit of 100 trials later. Um. Hmm. Okay, I'll just leave that as is. I just want to make room in my inventory for now, basically. Maybe I'll think it over between parts. Like This is this doesn't feel like the, the right time to do this sort of thing. The curse was lifted. That Mario show was something, wasn't he? Ah, uh, I can't stop oinking. What shall I do? <laughs> I guess he's been a pig too long. The moon granted my wish. I never turned into a pig. So I'm living on the moon. Must have heard my wish. What do you think lives there? Um... Hmm. Princess Peach. Ha ha ha. Too funny. He must be a dreamer. What an imagination. Let's just say that. Little green man. Ah, oh, no matter what you say, it's the same thing. Dang copy pasta. Dang copy pasta. Yeah, those three pigs that were over here? They are the Traveling Sisters 3! <laughs> yeah, I think we were pigs up until a moment ago. No way! We're not pigs. But if we were, we'd be such cute ones, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see how the family's doing now that the curse has been lifted. Mommy, I'm hungry pork chops! <laughs> Thanks to Mario, our village is back to normal at last. If you see Mario, you should thank him too. Okie dokie, I will. Oh, I'll forget it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All I do, all I do, poor me! No. Oh. You know, you can get through anything if you have good memories to cling to. Now, if I can just figure out how my days as a pig qualify as good memories... <laughs> we're free! Yes! We're no longer pigs! I saw... No more! I just want to sing! <laughs> uh, come to think of it, I don't think that... Well, you might have something new to say. Now that the curse has been lifted... Nope! You don't. Therefore, you do not interest me. <laughs> what do you have to say? You know, people often say that my shadow is faint, but yours is really something. I mean, you are a shadow. No offense or anything. <laughs> uh, what? A guy with red cap and some blue overalls? That sounds familiar. Come on, brain. Oh yeah, that's Mario. He's this adventurer who saved our village. Uh, are you an adventurer too? I like adventures. Me too. You gotta move in here. A shadow like you, you'd fit right in. You know what I mean? I don't know. People don't seem to trust me all that much. Uh oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We owe you so much, Mario. Please take this as a token of our thanks. Eat up. Boy, Mario, you sure gotten chatty all of a sudden. I mean, you like never talk. <laughs> oh, well, I guess it's not too totally weird or anything. Um, Mario, you seem kind of different. I mean, you're sort of like the life of the party now, so I guess that's cool. They're hinting that, you know, Mario never talks, and like most Nintendo characters are silent protagonists of sorts. Uh, Gonzalez, what's up with you lately? You're kind of freaking me out. I mean, I'm all for acting like a complete loon, but it's not exactly in your character. Why, my, my, Mario. You're rather dramatic as of late, aren't you? To be honest, dear, I rather enjoyed your quiet dignity and strength of character. Oh, okay, I'm gonna talk to Mario last. I mean, ah, oh, forget it. <laughs> now, who might you be? I don't remember inviting any shadows to my house. Sorry, but Mario visiting today. If you don't need anything, please leave. Whoa! <laughs> Look at me! Look at me! It's -a me, Mario! <laughs> well, he's just living it up at this moment in time. Did I talk to you? Uh, yeah, I did. What's in here? Must check in here. Hey, how's it going? 
I'm practicing for pig time. If I go to the swine side, I'm going to be more positive. There's no more pig curse? You're kidding. Could you give me some time alone? <laughs> I guess he was looking forward to being a pig. Alright, I think I got everyone shattered to except for Vivian here. Oh, wait, wait, hold on a sec. Watch this. Because I don't have my name on my shorts. <laughs> Forgot to show that. I'm looking for something very important. If I don't find it, my sister's going to punish me again. It's not just here. Alright, let's look around here, and there it is. So I, th I thought there was something in this, but it wasn't a star piece. It was this event item. It's a super bomb bomb, or b bomb bomb, I, I don't know. Yes, she will be punished, so there's nothing else in the grass here. Super bomb bomb. Here you go. Here's your n nuclear bomb. <laughs> It's, it's not often people drop their bombs, but here you go. What? You found it? Oh! Oh, thank you so much! Thank goodness! At least I won't get punished now. Huh? Oh no! It, it's broken. Uh-oh. It must have broken when my sister dropped it. What'll I do? What'll I do? I guess it was just meant to be punished for life. Um, let's see if I can fix it. Oh, don't even bother trying. It's really busted. What'll I do now, huh? My sister will be back any more minute now. But I do appreciate your offer, thank you. You're welcome. So yeah, the bomb's completely useless, which I think might be a good thing. <laughs> hey, wait just a second. What's your name, anyway? Won't you tell me? It's, uh, mm, what? I can't hear you. Your name was stolen? I see. Well, I guess that happens from time to time. What? It does? Wait, no it doesn't! Your name was stolen?! That's absolutely crazy! So, apparently Mario can't say his name at this moment in time. And they chatted up for a little bit. Gee whiz, you have way worse problems than I do! And you were worried about me that whole time. That's so... kind. Alright, that's it! I'm going to help you get back your name! And your party! And your friends! Hey, that's okay, don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure I really want to stay with my sisters anymore, anyway. And I feel like I need to repay your earlier kindness. It's the right thing to do. Whoa, oh, jeez. So, <laughs> here we go. Woo! New party member Vivian! Vivian's abilities, a primer. Press X to have Vivian pull Mario into the shadows where they can hide. La 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 la. Oh, no, no, nothing here. So everything's clear. La 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 la. la. That, that's how I envision the boo. <laughs> when hiding in the shadows, press X to reemerge. In battle, Vivian can set enemies on fire with her shade fist, or she and Mario can hide in the shadows to avoid damage with her veil move. She's an incredibly handy partner, especially against high attack power enemies. Guess we need to find out the ghost's real name first, huh? That'd be a start. Now, how are we going to get that kind of information? Oh, hey, I have sort of an idea. Birds pretend to be innocent with people around, but they're actually really well informed from all that flying and eavesdropping. With my power, you can listen in on their conversations without them knowing. So, in addition to villagers, let's also try to get some info from the local birds. That's the least I could do for you with my powers. Okie dokie. So yeah, if your next two characters, if you zoop in... Oh. Guess you aren't the kind of person that does it. <laughs> so anyway, be next to something like that, and sometimes a conversation will happen. So I was chatting with Rotbeak in Mushroom Town on instant mess <laughs> on Miss Instant Messenger yesterday, and he said he's just gone fiber optic on his whole network. You believe that? Rad. I bet he's downloading 100 meg apps with no problems on those fat pipes. <laughs> he's probably surfing that feather club for crow's sight at the speed of light now. Yeah, it just blows me away. All this information age hype you hear about. And yet, it's all games and feather, feather lost sites that are driving the technology. Yeah, but I think tech bust survivors can thrive if they get viable business models. Yeah, the, <laughs> the crows are most certainly very well informed. <laughs> I love the conversations of the crows here. Let's go through them all. I've been really depressed lately, thinking about the depletion of fossil fuels. Yeah, tell me about it. We've got to come up with a renewable energy source before that happens. Like wind or hydroelectric, I think solar energy probably has the greatest potential. 
<laughs> this, now they're getting really deep into things. Uh, any more crows around here? There aren't that many crow trees, but they're all most certainly uh, worth checking out for certain. I'm going to save my game here really quick. La 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 la. Do 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 do. Alright. Traveling Sisters 3. Oh, single crow. Oh, I wasn't in the range of being able to talk to him. Dang it! You gotta have the speech bubble up, up above your head. There you go. At last, this twilight world is too full of pain and contradiction, too full of broken dreams. Perhaps I was only given wings so I could flee the terror of <clears throat> mundanity. <laughs> Getting really deep here. Alright, more crows. Hey, Maud, listen to this. Ronnie, my oldest, is taking his SATs this year. Oh, is little Ronnie that age already? Well, bless my feathers, Flo. <laughs> Now these crows are pretty intelligent, they have lives of their own that you can eavesdrop in. But this, this right here is the tree that, that you are looking for, that you want to hear the information from. So that Mario guy meeting with the mayor, he's actually the bad guy, right? And nobody even knows. Humans are so dumb. It makes me want to peck their noses. <laughs> the only soul that knows the bad guy's name is locked under creepy steeple I hear. Because, you know, if no one knows your name, then you can use unstoppable magic. But if someone says your real name to you, then your magic will stop working. So, I wonder how all this is going to end up then. Hmm. So it appears that around this place, names have power. Did you hear that? If we search around Creepy Steeple, maybe we can find out that guy's real name. Indeedly do. Let's go to Creepy Steeple in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. I'm going to go save my game, by the way.